Hi Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can upload from Darkroom Core in the latest build to Darkroom Event Galleries or eventgalleries.com. First thing you'll want to do is go to your Event Galleries uh, account, click Account, Settings, and then API. You'll want to copy this API key. I, uh, I can see that it's been copied. Next, I will go into Darkroom Core or Darkroom Pro and click Add Account and then select Event Gallery. If you don't see Event Gallery, make sure you're on the most current release of Darkroom Core or Darkroom Pro. Go ahead and select that. Double click on it and then I'm going to use Control V, V as in Victor, to paste in the key and it's been pasted in. Next thing I'm going to do is go to my products and services and then package groups and I'm going to build a package that whenever I click on that package it automatically uploads. Okay, and I am going to leave it at zero dollars zero cents and click quick print and then click OK. That's OK. And the quick print's just so I don't have to click uh, add it to the cart and then click place order. It'll just go straight to the gallery. So next thing I'm going to do is click add local print item, select event gallery post under digital delivery products and click OK. And I am going to add a name and that's going to be demo01 and we'll go ahead and click uh, select that date and then click OK. So now when I go to my photo library and We'll select a picture and click package number two. It'll take just a moment, but let's go ahead and click on our galleries and wait for just a little bit. I click refresh and uh, my main image hasn't shown up yet but I can see that there's an image inside of there and there is my image so at this point I can give somebody a link or have a QR code where somebody can scan and they can download their image directly from using their phone and save it to their phone almost instantly when uh, the image is captured and uploaded so one thing we could do to save ourselves a little bit more time is we'll go ahead and click setup and if we are using tethered capture we can go to tethered capture and then auto print remove that and then click add do the same thing and what will happen here is that whenever I uh, click an image on my camera it would then auto update so I don't even have to upload using the package okay so let's see how that would work I'm going to click on our photo library and I'm going to drop an image into a hot folder so it imports it as if I was using a tethered camera here comes the image And if we click back, there is an image that was just captured, imported, and uploaded. And I can uh, then go to this website and download this image. So what a lot of people are doing is they're using a QR code that they have at an event. We'll kind of go back and look at... Uh, a few other options that we have. So
So if you click Get Link, you can then print this page out, or you can have this page set up on a computer, and they can just uh, scan this code with their phone, and then it would take them directly to that page. Let me see if I can do that real quick. Just use the uh, phone app. You can see nothing special. I go ahead and click on that, and it should take me directly to that page. So, but uh, this is meant to be print, printed out, and then you would just leave it for people using their phone uh, to download their images. One more option that you might want to try doing is if you're using, let's say, you're printing four by sixes or five by sevens on an event, and you're charging for those and you include a free digital download, you can select your package and just add that product to an existing package. So whenever you print 4x6, automatically uploads and it doesn't upload unless they purchase. And then you can choose the size that's being uploaded and you can also add a template if you'd like. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.